This video is brought to you by Squarespace. What the fuck are you doing, bro? What the fuck, man? Huh? What does it look like I'm doing? I'm getting the paint off of these war hammers. Getting paint off the war hammers? You know you can... Just... You know you can just use chemicals, right? Chemo what? Chemicals, you knob. Stop shooting my toy soldiers. Okay? All right. When it comes to stripping minis, pretty much everyone and their mum has got a method or a solution or a chemical solution that they swear by, and that is always the best way to strip your minis. Problem being, most of these solutions are branded products. And as we in the UK and Europe have discovered, most of those branded products simply don't exist over here. So if I want to strip and restore this, ro so if I want to strip and restore this Rogue Trader Land Speeder, what exactly do I do? Oh, well, that's easy. Just head over to O'Reilly's and get yourself a bottle of Simple Green. You know what I'm saying? I literally have no concept or context of what any of that means. All right. Okay. Well, how about heading over to Daffy's and getting a bottle of Demon Devil Overdrive? All right, maybe not. Well, maybe you could head over to Slappy's and get some soapy titty slip and slide. Yeah, that'll get that paint right off of that D-Dog. Anyway, so let's put my assortment of generally worldwide available chemicals and a couple of UK and Europe branded ones to see who can give us the cleanest result on this little piece of nostalgia. So first up, let's get the Dettol out of the way. Dettol is the most commonly used product in the UK, as far as I'm aware, for stripping miniatures. It's also the most commonly used cleaning product in pretty much every public sector building ever. If you don't know Dettol, well, basically, you'll know the smell of it. Anyone who's attended an educational institution in the last 50 years is probably familiar with how this smells. And Dettol is basically the UK's answer to the US's simple green. People say, put it in a vat of Dettol for a week and then you're good. However, I'm more interested to see what a product can do in an afternoon because I don't really want to let this sit for a week because I might have to have the video done before a week, so... And yeah, the paint lift is good. My only issue with Dettol is that it's oily as fuck and the pine oil in it is what is actually giving us this result that we want. And because of this specific chemical reaction, it is horrendously gloopy. And once you throw a toothbrush on there, it just gets all over your hands, it's gloopy, it's horrible. And that smell is not going to go away. My hands will probably smell like this for the next few days. Should also add that this stuff has a limited amount of uses, like a limited amount that is greatly exaggerated online. You could probably get an army done with this bottle, I would say. But five pound a bottle, yeah, fairly reasonable. It's just disgusting as fuck. Methylated spirits, also known as denatured alcohol and wood spirits in the States, I believe. It's an ethanol-based solution, so I kind of know what this is going to do, but we'll show it anyway. It's going to break down the paint quite nicely, rather than turning it into a goopy bag of slop. It's going to literally dissolve the paint away, so when scrubbing it off, you get a cleaner, less dirty hands lift. And wow, yeah, that's actually a lot cleaner than I expected. Lift is impressive, really impressive. Because the paint flakes off in more of a debonding sort of action rather than a liquefying, this stuff I can probably filter out, I can sieve it, strain it, and just reuse it for other stuff for cleaning miniatures. It's great for cleaning resin off 3D printed miniatures. I like this stuff, it's less gross than the Dettol, which is a win. And most importantly, this is a chemical that is available worldwide. Okay, let's throw a wild card in here and see what this can do. Wow, that looks surprisingly less appetizing than I expected it would. Okay, it says I can just paint it onto the miniature, but I'm just going to throw the poor sod in here and see what's happening. <laughs> oh dear. 
Bukki Bukaki time. Why are my drippings with goo? But the coolest thing about this is that the lift is actually fucking insane. Like after 60 minutes just submerged in the solution, the paint actually falls off. I know that people say, oh, it'll just come right off with Dell. It doesn't come right off with Dell, you gotta screw it. This, I could have taken this out of the solution, run it under a tap, and it would have been clean. Sadly, at 15 pounds a tub, this probably isn't for everyone. However, speaking of things that are for everyone, let's take a cheeky breaky second to talk about this week's sponsor. Squarespace is a self-contained, browser-based web development platform that takes the hassle out of building your first website. I've been lucky enough to be partnered up with Squarespace over the course of six videos, and through that journey we'll be building the MS Paints website. For this first segment, I'm tackling my homepage, which I'm designing using a template that I like the look of filling in some pre-designed modular blocks and effortlessly adding new items and buttons to interact with. And ultimately, make it my own. Setting up a link back to the YouTube? No problemo. Putting pictures of my frog wherever I want? Effortless. If you want to check out Squarespace for yourself, you know, to build a health and safety frog fan page, head to squarespace.com forward slash mspaints to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain using the code mspaints. That's me. I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite store on the Citadel. Big shout out to my main man, Joe. He saw the Warhammer thrifting video and was like, bro, you need to try this stuff on your land speeder. And I thought, okay, sure, I'll, I'll try it out. I wanted to do it with alcohol or worldwide spirits, whatever. Uh, but this stuff, wow. You can find Joe on Twitch. I'll put a link to his channel down in the description below. He seems to be getting quite a bit of traction at the minute. So go and check him out if you want to watch some chill video game streams. Hopefully Joe doesn't want this back because he ain't fucking getting it back. Okay. Isopropyl alcohol. I've used this in the past and I use it a lot around the studio so I kind of know what it does and I know what to expect. It's got a good initial lift but needs a lot of work with scrubbing it off. I strongly suspect if I watered this down maybe up to about 50% with water I would have a better time scrubbing and a better time lifting the paint off. The issue with alcohol, or more specifically the ethanol in this, is that it evaporates really quick. So within about 20 seconds you're pretty much scrubbing a dry miniature. If you mix this with water, I imagine it will be just as good, if not a little bit better than the methylated spirits. Also this stuff is great for cleaning brushes, cleaning airbrushes. I use it on my terrain a lot to pre-wet things before sealing. Magical. What's next? Oh shit, yeah. Antibacterial. 70% ethanol. Yeah, no fucking shit it's antibacterial. So given events over the last two to three years, I imagine we've all come across this by now. It's ethanol based, so we kind of know it's going to do something similar to that and something similar to that. Uh, it just happens to be one pound a bottle rather than 25 pounds for five liters. And this is probably quite nifty because people in the hobby tend to be generally opposed to buying trade chemicals to use on their miniatures. I don't know why, maybe they think trade chemicals are more dangerous or something. I don't really know how this is more dangerous than this. You dislocate your jaw and shove either of these bottles down. I think the choking hazard is equal, but that's just, that's just me. That's just me. And yeah, I got a fairly clean lift off this. Um, I think it could do with soaking more. And the benefit of it is that it's a gel solution. So as you're scrubbing, it doesn't evaporate straight away because it's 70% ethanol and the other 30% is um, goo. I'm actually pleasantly surprised with this. I probably won't use it for anything other than cleaning my brushes uh, and I probably won't use it to strip minis because it's a very slow reaction. But yeah, if you've got the time and the patience, you can absolutely strip your miniatures with hand sanitizer. What a world. So all of these pretty much did the same job with just slightly different outcome results. And now that I've cleaned the land speeder, I realize I didn't take any pictures of it before it was cleaned. So I am out of fucking luck if I want a good thumbnail for this video. But the pieces are clean, the metal is shining. I'm gonna take this thing home and I'm gonna paint it. I'll go with one of the original promo image paint schemes, yellow and blue. 
absolutely hideous, but I guess at least it's authentic to something. Now, I was quick to judge the previous owner for kicking this model in superglue, but having cleaned it off and trying to assemble it all over again myself, I can totally sympathise. It's one of those models where it looks like it's supposed to have ball and socket joints and places for things to go, but ultimately you put it together how the diagram suggests, and it just doesn't work. With the cat asleep, I think I can safely sneak outside to prime these models without giving him any additional snack. Ah, oh, fuck it. Yep. You alright? I'll be back inside in a minute, mate. Paint-wise, I'm going to imitate that 80s paint scheme, not just in colour, but in style. And this is also a great opportunity to use the Pro Acryl yellows, which are frankly a fucking joke in terms of coverage. A good joke. We're going hard on this 80s style scheme. Black lining, like we've added panel lines with mascara. Yellows, like the sun in Teletubbies, and blending with all the subtlety of cat litter in a blender. I spent a couple of hours painting it up, and I'm happy. It looks better than Destiny would ever have afforded it to. You, my friend, will sit nicely at home with my Retro Space Marines project. Big thank you to this video sponsor Squarespace. By the time this video comes out, I'll have started development on the website, and with each successive sponsored video, I'm going to introduce a new page or section that I've been working on and is now finished. And it goes without saying, but I'm going to say it anyway. Big end-level boss thank yous to my MS Paints Patreon community, who continue to be a source of healthy inspiration and healthy discourse as we go through this hobby journey together. Cheers, I'm out of here.